Hi everyone and welcome back to Natty's Nook, where you'll hear about books that could become your next best reads. If you missed last week's book or you're just simply new to the channel, I really encourage you to go check out my first review or the last one that you happen to miss. The first review is called Channel Intro Plus First Review, On if you don't know what it's called, and I really encourage you to go and catch up on it. It was awesome. I also really encourage you to please stay updated because sometimes the plots could connect, the same author could be present, or they could just become your new favorite novel. And who wouldn't want that, especially for an avid reader like me. If you're not new to the channel and you're just waiting for this next review, sit back, relax, and enjoy the next look inside Natty's Nook. Today's look inside the nook will be about a novel called Parties by Scott Westerfield. Now, just a reminder that this book is the second novel in a series called Uglies, and a pleading, pleading cry from me to please go and read Uglies before you read Parties, because number one, the experience won't be the same, and number two, this book will just contain spoilers for Uglies, and I don't want to spoil the novel if I don't have to, because Uglies was a fantastic novel through and through. So consider yourself warned, and now let's jump into the body of the review. This novel has a 3.85 star rating on Goodreads, and I think that's pretty well marked considering how the book was for me. So this book actually just picks off right where Ugly's left off and doesn't miss a thing. So Ugly's left off with Tally Youngblood saying, I want to become pretty. Now, if you watched my last review, you would say, Natty, come on. That's not really a change from Uglies, so do you expect the book to just be static all the way through? And no, it's anything but static. To those that are asking this question, Tal Youngblood didn't always have the feeling that she wanted to become pretty. Yes, Uglies started off with Tal Youngblood only wanting to become pretty, but throughout most of the novel, her viewpoint changed to the fact that pretties have something with their minds that's just not normal. So her friend Shay enlightened her and said, you know what, this isn't right. I've seen people go into the surgery and say, oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing, but that's not how they were before. And Tally realizes this and quickly discards all of her feelings of becoming a pretty. She decides to have a romantic relationship with David, leading her to believe that there might be a cure for the mind messing up in surgery. Now, the only reason that Tally wants to become a pretty is to test the cure. It's really dangerous, and you don't know what the effects are going to be. So it's a huge risk on Tally's part. But as you can see from, from Uglies, she's willing to take pretty much every risk, and she pretty much already has. So she takes the risk of becoming a pretty and really feels amazing. It's spectacular living, spectacular clothes, and amazing parties. So what could, what more could there be to it? But there's something missing, and she doesn't know what it is. So Tally has to ask herself, do I want to just find out what's missing and really find the purpose of my life? Or do I just want to stick here and feel like something's missing all the time and, I don't know, just stay a pretty like this? So that's the question that kind of bubbles through her head as well as the reader's head because like we, like we think is pretty much how Tally thinks. Now this book isn't as good as Uglies, but it's pretty good considering it's a second novel. In my opinion, the first novel really sets the standard for the second, making it kind of hard to really enjoy the second as you enjoyed the first. Nevertheless, it's still a really good read. It just didn't have as much intensity. There is some language, so I would be aware. So for these two reasons, I give it a four star rating out of five stars because number one, the language is just a little much for me, even though I've read books with more and the intensity just wasn't there for me. I also think that there was some really, really, really well thought out plot twists, but there should have been more of them to make the story more exciting for me to read and for the read to be one that I finished within a day. And it wasn't that for me. It was more like a week for me. So I recommend this book for about ages 13 and up, but I do still want you to read this novel. It's important to understand 
that even though the first novel is insane, the second novel really won't be as good. It's important to really get like grasp the fact that this novel is still a good read. So I recommend this book who want more from Tao Youngblood and want a pretty, pretty big plot twister that will blow your mind. If you like this review, please click the like button below as well as the subscribe button to show that you like this video. If you're interested in recommending a book, please refer to the details at the very end of the video for instructions. Stay tuned for the next look inside the nook. Thanks for watching!